This is Twit. There was a Google, what, Google? Um, keyword, On this keyword post the other day, actually yesterday, uh, called The Checkup with Google Health. And this actually- Is this an alternative for, for Paris who's losing Dr. Dan, perhaps? Perhaps it is. <gasps> Although it uses I Gen believe AI, Google, so maybe you don't I believe Google employees use One Medical as well. So um, it, it it was actually, believe it or not, thanks to Windows Weekly host Paul Therott that I came across this story. So uh, the Windows Show was talking about Google, so I thought I'd bring it to the Google Show. Um, there are there's Windows th news today too. We could get to there's Microsoft. That's news, true. Yes. yes, we do need to talk about that, uh, which we should get to pretty soon because then we got to go. Um, I wanted to mention that Google is planning on using Gen AI <laughs> mm, watch in, out. in a few ways, uh, including fine-tuning uh, some of its Gemini model for... So, okay, let me, let me be clear. The Gemini model, of course, has some base-level understanding of some of what's involved in the medical domain. But what they are doing is they're using sort of spe special specific uh med palm 2 the large language mind model that is specifically fine-tuned for healthcare to further fine-tune the gemini model uh to help provide kind of people who would be using that tool as we know it is in um Samsung phones, it very well may likely be coming to Apple's devices in the future. There's uh, reports that Apple is working with Google on bringing Gemini in some way to iPhones. And so with that, there could be uh, something in the works there that they are improving upon the capabilities, uh, understanding and uh, breaking down X-ray images, uh, CT scans, et cetera. Plus, and I think this is the part that's cool and is maybe not as scary, uh, or I, not necessarily scary, but problematic, is a personal health LLM that uses your Fitbit and a lot of the information that you get from your Fitbit and your Pixel devices to provide some information to you so if you can imagine if you've got a fitbit if you've got a get pixel, off your lazy ass jarvis yeah exactly <laughs> um but it would go you know excuse me it would go further than that it would look at your your sleep it would look at your movements it would look at all of that and look i was talking about this on windows weekly my apple watch uh it tracks my it doesn't track my sleep i've got i've got something else for that uh my bed tracks my sleep <laughs> And my Apple Watch <laughs> tracks my movement throughout the day. Yes, it's fine. Chuckle it up, folks. My bed keeps me cool at night, and I love it. Um, so, What bed do you have? I have the 8 Sleep, which is a previous sponsor on the network, uh, full disclosure. Uh, and yes, it's it actually... I I'm a very 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 warm. Does it sleeper. make you cool when it you does. sleep? It's it's yeah. How? It, so it um it passes water through these little. Uh, it's basically like liquid cooling. It passes water through this grid that's yeah, underneath he's a chip. you, and it sends it into a, an an external device that has an exhaust fan on the back, and so <laughs> it pulls in cold air. <laughs> from a, okay, this how noisy so is it? It's very quiet, which is which is the coolest part. Okay, of it. but how quiet is very quiet when you're sleeping? Um, even it's so, noise, it starts working right? before you go to oh, sleep, so and you don't even huh? you don't no. It's not even like uh, like you don't hear it. it it's it's very okay. very quiet. Silent. I don't I don't know how they do it. It's it's silent. Uh, I have to sleep with a CPAP pump. Oh, so you're already it, at a disadvantage. oh, so you're already wow yeah yeah. 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 Sorry, you're already. Look, listen, up. We're just oh, like, you're no, already part. <laughs> but no, um, yeah. with that, though, with the CPAP, and you have um, atrial fibrillation too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this might be especially uh, helpful to you because it can take, that's the point that I was trying to get at was I've got all of this data that is being tracked and my device only ever tells me, you know, maybe anything about an eighth of it. For example, it will, it will tell me something stupid like, hey, this week you walked upstairs less than you did last week. Or, hey, your um, sleeping breath re respiration changed over the past couple of weeks. And maybe that information, when paired with a lot more, actually means something. But on its own, it's not very eh. And so the idea that I could have a personal LLM that's kind of looking at all of this 
all of it together and making sense of it in some way, I think is pretty cool. And it's not going to be a situation where it's like, Hey, Mikey, you know what you should do right now? You should, you should drink water out of the back of the toilet tank. Cause I read some study that says, if you do that, you'll never get sick again. No. Where did that come from? <laughs> I, brain? Jeez. That I just made up out of the blue. Whoa, see, there's still that's creativity. The dungeon master's, yeah. uh, <laughs> that's that's exactly. the dungeon master's instinct right there. there you go. All those hours. They're building towards that. Just wait, my, my dear, dear players, when you are forced with drinking out of the back of a toilet to keep yourselves alive. Anyway, I, 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 I like this. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you, you were finished. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say that I, I would not use it for those weird things. I would like to hear if it says, I've looked at your trends over the past six months, and it does look like uh, when you are... I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that it could actually, uh, when you spend more time at home in a given week, uh, instead of going places, then you are more likely to, uh, not eat as much maybe. And your sleep is poorer or something. Just see, maybe I, I think this, I, this, I, I think this effort to turn us into a data set, um, to find anomalies uh, fine, but I don't think there's a lot of use in it. Um, you know, how, how did I find my, my thyroid cancer? Because I had a lump. How did I find my prostate cancer? Because my blood test said, uh oh, that's not good. Um, how did I find my AFib? Because I said, oh, this is weird. Um, I had another condition. This is old. This is what happens when you get old. You talk about all your conditions. Um, this was inevitable on the show. Um, mm -hmm. I had a weird thing with a vein here. Okay? Uh -huh. So I went to four different doctors, and it was all the blind man and the elephant shtick. Because mm -hmm. the pulmonary person wanted to see what pulmonary, the uh, endocrinologist wanted to see what was endocrinology, the other one. And finally, it was this, it was a set thing, and all the symptoms pointed to that. My point being, at some point, what you want to be able to do, but better your doctor does it than you do, is rather than, is that you can, you can feed all of the symptoms and all of the questions of something into it. And it will suggest things to the doctor that the doctor being the blind man and the elephant, thinking only about his, her own specialty, mm -hmm. wouldn't have otherwise thought of. That's where I see a use for this kind of technology. But basically, we're tracking you constantly. is probably going to just make you nuts. I understand that. There's actually, uh, there was a few research, uh, there were a few studies about specifically that concern, especially when it came to sleep, that people were getting poorer sleep because of all of the sleep tracking they were doing. But on the flip side, what if I didn't have to wait until I felt a lump in my thyroid to know that yeah, something was developing? But probably there? blood tests are going to tell you that. And the, and the person who was going to give you that is now in jail for a long time. What's her name? Oh, I was like, my doctor's yeah. in jail? Elizabeth Dr. Dan's in jail? <laughs> no, not Dr. No, Dan. Not That's Dr. why he's Dan. going out of state. The penitentiary's in New Jersey. <laughs> but see, a lot of times, I, I, I imagine, Jeff, you have a couple, well, not just a couple. You've got several things on your side here. One, you're white. Two, you're a man. And three, be, and I, I mean this in the most loving way I possibly can, because of your age, you are more likely to have some of these conditions mm -hmm. and therefore mm -hmm. they're more likely to believe that you would have some of these conditions. I yes. have a, um, I have a, a, f a family member who is black, who is young, who is a woman and who has such a, who is also a very soft spoken person and who, because she is a mother, does not have a whole lot of time to do a lot of her own research that would require that she, would be required for her to be able to advocate for herself to the mm -hmm. level that is sometimes needed to even get the blood test in the first yes. place. Yes. And that is where I, f I see this uh, on the in the same scope. My partner um, has had a hell of a time uh, working through the you know at different times trying to get tests that ended up being necessary. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm on the flip side of that in some ways. Obviously, I've got a few things to play against me, but boy, howdy, you do not want to come up against me when it comes to making sure I've got all of my receipts and re research done because I do. And I'm, uh, frankly, like if there's one bit of patting on my back, I'll give myself it. So I'm very good at advocate, advocating for myself in a health environment. And so my doctor and I have a good relationship where I can literally message and say, 
I would like to get this test done. Here are the reasons why, and it's easy to do. But I feel for the that's people great. who you know don't have that, and I think that that's. But you more raised this yesterday, case. Micah, or the other day with with Nvidia. Mm -hmm. The problem, as you said the other day, is the data for you as a black man that would feed these machines is inadequate. Yes, and we know that. Yeah, and and that's got to get fixed. That's true in this process um, before you're going to have enough faith in it. Exactly. Yep. Right. Before it becomes an I also agent. think a larger issue, which I mean, I agree on both the points that I think having this data can be really helpful for people who are not in a position to advocate for themselves or be heard by people in the medical establishment. But I think also, I mean, last week on the show, we talked about how um, data from Internet connected cars is ending up in the hands of LexisNexis, which is resulting in higher ins car insurance premiums for people who didn't opt in right. for that. Mm -hmm. I fear that if our medical data ends up connected all in once to form our own large language models related to our own health, that information will somehow get back to insurance companies and ultimately result in, I don't know, nightmare black mirror situations where it's like, oh, you've been having bad nights of sleep for the last couple of months. Your health insurance is going up. Right. Which comes down to not technology, but law. Yeah. And, and but again, as I, I think I said last week, but the problem is the government will want to maintain that data for themselves because they're not our friend when it comes to privacy. And so whom do we trust to create the guardrails against the human behavior of these companies? I don't know who. I have no answers. Paris. I trust no one. Yeah. Trust no one. Dr. That's, Dan. That's Paris' Dr. nihilism. Dr. Dan could be in charge of the medical establishment. <laughs> Hopefully power won't go to his head. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you enjoyed this little snippet from our show this week in Google. For the full show, you can either go to our website, twit.tv slash twig, or find twig in your favorite podcast client. And, of course, there's links right below, somewhere down there, for more information.